Hey guys, it's me, Stace. Today we are using the Cricut machine to make this really cute love box, perfect for Valentine's Day. It has a little heart on the very top. You slide that open and inside you can put all kinds of goodies or treats. And right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. For the computer, you wanna to go to design.cricut.com. You will see this screen. Enter in your email and your password. Click on sign in. You can also use the desktop version if you'd like. On this screen, we're gonna go down to where it says Cricut Access and then click on View All. And the box we are making is this one right here. It's called the Love Heart Top Box. I'm gonna click on that. This will bring up a preview window. Very bottom, I'm gonna click on Customize. So we have the box piece here. We have our lettering and our two hearts. Upper right hand corner, click on Make It. For the box itself, you will need a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. The other pieces you can use scrap paper. I'm gonna click on Continue. I'm going to cut this out, and then we'll go to the table and put our box together. Alrighty, all of our pieces are cut out. I'm first going to work on the part piece first. And so we have our letters. I'm going to grab some art glitter glue and some scrap paper. And I get this from maymaymadeit.com. Just put a little bit of glue on the outer of the letters on the back side. And then I'm going to kind of dab it off a little bit and then place it on the heart. Okay, and then we have this piece. I'm going to save that and pop that up, but I'm going to put it here so I have it for placement to work on the other two letters. And our last one right here. It's a really fun font. I'm not sure what font it is though. Again, just dab some off on my notebook over here so I'll, you know, to get rid of the excess there. Okay, so we have that. That's gonna take our heart. I'm gonna grab these small foam squares and probably do two of them. I find if I just do one foam square, it does kind of get wobbly. I'm gonna give them a squish, then take the backing off. And plop that on there like that. I'm going to flip this one over and put some foam squares on this one as well. I'll just use two here. All right, I'm going to set that aside and then we're going to work on our box. Now, for my box, you can see I did stamp the background, and for that, I used one of Mamie Made It stamps. It's called Love Is. I used this middle size striped heart and the two smaller hearts there. And I used Stampin' Up, Blushing Bride, and also. Clips or coral. And that's what that looks like there. All right now, we're going to go ahead and finger press on the score marks just to get them started. Then we'll go back in with our bone folder. Okay, so they're started. Take your bone folder. Whenever you're making boxes, you want to make sure that you have nice, crisp creases. All right, so we have our box, but we have this one right up here. I'm also going to fold my arrows in. There's no square mark there. Well, there might, yes, there is. I'm sorry. There is a square mark there. All right, fold those guys in as well. Now I'm going to take these two pieces here. They're our ends. I'm going to get and grab some glue. Just bring that in on the inside of the box, lining up the edges with the fold. Just give a little bit of rub there, make sure it sticks. And do the same for this flap. You know, it's a nice size box. You can fit all kinds of goodies in there. Really good to um, put in your kids' lunch box or maybe at the breakfast table when they wake up in the morning on Valentine's Day or to your um, your partner, you can put it in their lunchbox or by the coffee pot if they wake up first, all kinds of fun things. All right, now we have the arrows. I will say this is probably the trickiest part is getting these little arrows in. If you want to, you can just, what I probably do, I'd probably put glue on those and then just bring them in like that, okay? But I'm gonna show you at least how to do the arrows. Just take the point, kind of take something to open that slice up a little bit better there. You can also go in and hide contour those slice marks if you don't want to have them on there. If you, if you intended just 
glue the arrows on. I kind of get one in, get the other one in, then I'm going to go inside and grab the arrow piece and just kind of carefully pull it forward. There we go, I have that one. You need like 10 hands to do this. Okay, and then we have that one. I'm going to grab that one. Okay. All right, so they're in there. Okay, so there's the one side. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just take a little pokey tool just to open up a little bit. And, then, and you kind of have to do both arrows at the same time. Otherwise, one's going to pop out on you. I got that one started in there, and I got that one. You just can't push them in. You have to get past that arrow part. I got the bottom one in. Now let's do the top. See the bottom one just popped right out? I think I ripped it. Yeah, I think it's much easier to glue this shut. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my arrows out. Well, now I can't get it out of there. Yeah. I would, I'd probably glue them in there, guys, just to be... Because I think it's sloppy because, like I said, I, I, I went ahead and ripped that one completely. So, anyway. I'm going to take this part. Put your little treats in there. I'd probably put them in a little baggie. And then just kind of curve that down. Then bring these two pieces together. And you'll see little slice marks on those. The box is really cute. It does go together nicely. But I do recommend, with them little arrows, I recommend gluing them in on the inside. But there you have it. It's super cute, right? All right, now we're going to go ahead and put our top on, or the front of the box. Right at the bottom. Okay, then on the back of these, we already have our foam squares. Give them a squish, and then take the backing off. Pop it on there. Oh, I did them backwards this time. Yeah, see, so I have the pink on the front and the, and the red here with that Calypso coral. I think it's a really cute little box. Like I said, really good for the little ones. You can put it in their lunch box on the table or nightstand when they when they get up in the morning. Just you know, a fun little way to say Happy Valentine's Day to someone you love. All right, guys. Any questions at all? Please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.